Hey guys, it's Rebecca from Black is the New Red. How y'all doing? I know it is a new year. I haven't been on in about three weeks. Took a vacation, a little break, but I'm back and I just wanted to say hello. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Anyway, there's a couple of little issues I wanted to get to today and I just wanted to take the time out to share a few things with you. First of all, I was honored to be a part of the hashtag walk away compilation video black american edition that was put together by mike boss um you may have seen it it is a it's a like snippets put together of african americans who have walked away from the democrat party slash plantation and it's um uh, several of our testimonies about how we walked away, why we walked away. And so I just wanted to just say, Mike Boss, thank you so much for your efforts, for your time, for the consideration. Um, you're not African American, but you saw the need to put that type of video together. And so uh, thank you for including me. I appreciate it so much because it was wonderful to hear other African Americans and hear their stories because sometimes you can feel a little bit isolated. I know for me, it was hard to to, to find out that, you know, I didn't have a uh, the right to walk away. Uh, from the Democrat Party. I didn't know. I figured, hey, I'm an American. I can do what I want to do. But it wasn't until I decided to speak out on Facebook and start uh, making comments on some of my friends' pages and some of my family members' pages that I was shocked that uh, of the vitriol, the, the backlash, the hatred, the, the spewing of just the name calling from people that I, that I know and love. Um, it was ridiculous. And so it helped me understand the depth of the brainwashing that has taken place in America. Um, to think that a whole people group needs to think the same way, vote the same way, support the same people just because we're black based on lies. Because the, black, the, the African American community has not benefited one bit from voting Democrat. So where does all this loyalty come from? Where does the passion come from for us to... Stand up for the Democrat Party. We have absolutely no evidence that the Democrat Party cares about us at all. They've done nothing. So now, because I want to support the Party of Action, which happens to be the Republican Party led by Donald Trump, I can't speak for the Republican Party prior. I can speak for the Republican Party at its foundation and when it began and the original purpose of the Republican Party, because that's history and that we have talked about on my channel. Um, but now the Republican party is the, Rep is the party of action. Um, uh, president Trump went to Washington and he's doing exactly what he said he was going to do. But I found that in Democrat circles that just because president Trump is on one end of an issue, you'll go to the op opposite end just because you don't, you want to oppose president Trump. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that, being on the opposite end on a, of an issue is stupid. It, it, it's stupid. It could be like President Trump could say, "You know what? We need to arrest everybody who uh, is murdering children." You'll go on the opposite end and say, "You know, we don't need to. They have rights to just anything." It's, it's, it's completely absurd. Let's take, for instance, border security. Anybody in their right mind in this country should know that we need strong borders, strong border security. Period. There should be no argument. This should be something that Americans, whether you're black, white, Jew, Gentile, Protestant, Catholic, whoever you are, we should be able to agree on the fact that our nation needs strong borders. But no, you arguing against it because President Trump is for it. He's leading the fight for it, which is insane to me. I mean, I, I can't, there's some people that are in my, um, in my life that I can't even speak to because you can't get a clear thought across because they are completely and totally have bought into whatever the media has been feeding them about Donald Trump. And none of us know him personally, but you can look at what has been accomplished in the last two years since he's been in office. He has done more for the African American community than the last six, seven, eight presidents put together. You have tax reform, you have prison reform, you have African-American unemployment at its lowest rate in history. 
Uh, you have so many other things that he's done for our community, and yet you still find fault. He wants safe borders. He wants security. He wants more money in your pocket. Uh, look at the gas prices. Where is ISIS? Where are the terror threats that, that were uh, just in America just bombarding us? ISIS was here. Where are they now? I mean, it's like common sense would, would, would tell you that perhaps the Democrat Party has been lying to you for decades. So I appreciate the fact that there's more, there's other African Americans who are waking up to say, hey, this Democrat Party has done nothing. We have not held them accountable. And now you have a president who's doing exactly what he said he was going to do. Whether you like it or not, he's doing it. And so I appreciate that. And I'm glad that I was a part of it. I'm proud to be a part of uh, to stand with my other brothers and sisters. I hope one day I get to meet you guys because I, I just enjoyed your testimonies as well. But we got to look at who are we supporting as far as Democrats? Well, I'm not supporting anybody as far as Democrats, but who are you supporting? Okay, let's look at Hank Johnson, for instance. He is a congressman out of the state of Texas. And last week he had the audacity to speak at the NAACP conference. And he accused President Trump of being the equivalent of Adolf Hitler. What? Adolf Hitler was a monster. Please show me where um, President Trump has uh, ordered up some concentration camps. Where has he arrested African Americans or anybody for that uh, fact, pulled them out of their homes and drove them into, had them ordered into concentration camps. Where has he confiscated their weapons like Adolf Hitler did? Uh, excuse me, that sounds more like the Democrat Party who wants to take guns. Um, where has he led anybody to the gas chamber or to the incinerator? You can't find it because it's not happening. And I think it's a disgrace, Hank. Johnson for you to make that comparison because there are millions of descendants of people who were Holocaust survivors who I'm sure are offended by your ridiculous rhetoric, your fear mongering. And Hank accused Trump supporters of being less educated and disease written and full of depression and all kinds of outlandish insults. Hank, you and I graduated from the same university. I'm embarrassed to say you came from Clark Atlanta University because I had a wonderful, magnificent experience there, and I was educated. Newsflash, Trump supporters are not less educated, Hank. And you're one to speak. Mr. Hank Johnson was in a congressional hearing uh, that had to do with the island of Guam, one of our territories, the United States territories is the island of Guam. And one of his concerns was that he felt like if the island was more populated, it could tip over and capsize. Hank and Trump supporters are the less educated. Are you serious right now, Hank? Capsize is something a boat does. That's how I check. Has any island ever tipped over and capsized? And he was serious in a congressional hearing. So before you accuse Trump supporters of being less educated, why don't you become educated, Hank? I mean, I know they said you went to Clark Atlanta University, but I can't believe that. But anyway, that's Democratic representation out of the state of Texas. Texas, you need to do better. That's awful. This is the best y'all can do. That's what you said in the Washington. Wow. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest because as black Republicans and as black, you know, black Trump supporters, we get harassed. We get bullied. We get ostracized and terrorized on Facebook and other uh, social media platforms It by Democrats. Excuse me, Hank, going back to Hank Johnson, please get a grip. Stop insulting Trump supporters because we are educated. 
And it shows because we walked away from your Democrat plantation. You will no longer just take our votes for granted and, and do absolutely nothing. Anyway, I just had to talk about that. And um, we're going to be diving into some real wonderful deep issues coming in uh, the next couple months in 2019. And I'm just so appreciative of you guys coming along for the ride. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, please go to Black is the New Red on YouTube. Click, like, subscribe, hit that, hit that bell notification so you know when new videos come out. And just share because we're going to be educating um, African Americans, but Americans as a whole. Because a lot of the, the things that we're going to be talking about, it's, they're not well-known and uh, well-publicized, okay? So take care. Love you. And Happy New Year again. Be safe. God bless.